So multiple reports have said that Lando Calrissian is going to be returning to Star Wars. So today we're going to discuss how that will affect Episode 9, talk about how it could just affect Star Wars in general. Is it going to be, bring people back to the franchise? Uh, and just, I mean, what are they going to do with Episode 9 and the future of Star Wars? So Cookie, what do you think... Uh, I mean, of Lando. I think it's really kind of interesting because they just did a young Lando in the solo movie, and now they're going to do an old Lando back-to-back, uh, -back, basically. Um, obviously, I like that Billy D. Williams is coming back. Uh, no way they could have done it if he wasn't going to do it. However, at the same point, um, I, I, I feel like it's just not necessary. I mean, you've already brought Leia, Han, Luke, all of them back. Um, and I, I think there was a way to do it where you didn't have to bring them back or at least bring them back in ways that they had big roles, but Lando, even more so than them, I didn't feel like if, I don't know, it almost feels a little forced. And also I don't know exactly what they're going to do with them. As far as bringing people back to the franchise, I, I don't think this is going to be like a boy, the last Jedi sucked, but Lando's back. I mean, I don't think that's going to be nearly enough to bring people back because I think a lot of people that didn't like The Last Jedi are just going to assume, oh, great, now they're going to ruin another one of my characters that I loved from the original Star Wars uh, trilogy. So That's a good point. I, I don't think it's going to bring anybody back. I'm, I'm curious what route they decide to take with him. Uh, I, I assume he's some sort of resistance general would be my first guess. I mean, he could have just completely... I mean, considering what happened in uh, the Battlefront 2 campaign, which is part of the canon, I assume he keeps going down that path of being a general and probably ends up being a general with the Resistance, too. I would assume that's what happens. But, And if that's the case, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not super that doesn't like, make sense interested, either. I guess. Because if he was a general, where was he when the remaining that's what I was thinking too. part of the yeah. rebellion was killed off? And where was he when Leia called for help on Crate and nobody came? Like, well, again, they've had multiple opportunities to have Lando come back, and now it just feels like they're having him come back just as like uh, damage just control. Do like they know they screwed up, and a lot of people uh, don't like the Last Jedi, so they're trying to. I guess grasp at straws and have a reason for those people to come back. See, like, I don't even know if it's really damage control. It's just, I think it's just something that, like, like, I don't think, like, I don't think they just added Lando just because of the last Jedi. I think this probably was part of a bigger plan overall that Lando was going to come in. I just don't think it sounds like a really interesting idea just because Lando is going to be coming back into it. Um, it's, I don't, I'm a little interested because they just, they kind of changed some things about young Lando a little bit. I wonder if that manifests itself into old Lando or not. I don't know. Maybe Lando went back to his smuggler ways, just like Han did. Uh, cause Han kind of, uh, did a 180 back to his original ways. So maybe Lando did the same thing. Uh, it just, I mean, technically he has more experience than everybody there. He could mm -hmm. like. And then Carrie Fisher's dead, so they have to kind of write her off somehow. So yeah. what's he, he? I mean, he could run the remaining resistance. Yeah, maybe he comes in as the filler because everybody's like, "Oh man, we lost Leia. Now we have absolutely no leaders." And then Lando's like, "Don't worry, I'm here." Out of uh, nowhere. I know. <laughs> like he has to have some sort of general role because he's like eighty something. He's like eighty three, eighty four. I don't. He's uh, in or, his 80s. Yeah, unless he just pops up as some, like, I, 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 like some guy that lost faith, just like Luke. <laughs> he's another person that lost all his hope, <laughs> just like Luke yeah, he's was. He's 81. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's really up there. So, <laughs> and obviously, he's not going to be so like some do very many super scenes. fighting role. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, th I think it's going to be. I mean, I guess it'd be nice to see an old character again, but the problem for me is with the Last Jedi. I, you know, the Luke and Leia felt like much less of interesting characters because of that movie. I think they did pretty good with Han and The Force Awakens. I didn't have any problem with that, but you know, I'd I'd almost rather them stay away from these characters now because I I hated what they did to Luke. So there's no I didn't characters like, left. I, 
I didn't like what they Except did to Leia. Leia. And, you know... Even Akbar. They even <laughs> killed off Akbar for no apparent reason, too. So, yeah, the I'm kind of more or less in the idea of, you know what? Just focus on the new characters. E- even, even if I liked The Last Jedi. Like, even if I liked the direction where this is going. I would, st- even if I was in that camp, I would still feel like, is this really necessary anymore? Can't we just focus on the new characters? We're two episodes uh-huh. in with these new characters, Ray, Kylo, Poe, Finn. Can we, like, focus about on them? them? Yeah, like, we're, we're, it's it's funky because The Last Jedi kind of was pushing this idea of, you know, killing the past and all this stupid stuff. And yet we're kind of hanging on to the past at the same time. It's like we keep having to make these references back to the original trilogy. And if if I was a fan of everything they were doing in the sequels, I'd be kind of like, can we focus on the sequels now? Like, isn't this supposed to be different? Aren't we supposed to be moving forward? Why do we keep bringing back these old characters? Especially in Lando's case, I don't see how he's going to have much of a necessary role. It just feels like they're doing it to... I, maybe you're right. Maybe they Basically are doing it just service. to just to appeal they to people. To it seems like it a very stupid idea, though. Like, make make up your mind. <laughs> are, you, are you going all in on these sequels, or are you going to keep trying to uh, jump back to the past in the original? Because The Force Awakens had too much original, because it was almost the same exact plot. And then The Last Jedi completely abandoned everything about the original. They don't seem to have any idea where they really want to take this trilogy. So I'm a. Uh, it doesn't make me. I guess I don't feel good or bad really either way. But it. I guess a little worse hearing it. I guess. <laughs> it's my overall I'm just feeling of it. Afraid they're gonna ruin him in some way too. But yeah, I guess they can't really ruin about. him. To the point of like Luke, but. Uh, could. Like, <laughs> it feels to me like all these new characters are just, like, filler side characters with supporting roles. Yeah. Like, they're not the main deal, which is not how it should feel. Like, and then they missed so many opportunities with these with the original cast. Like, they could have had, like, a huge reunion. Like, they could have had Leia and Lando been the generals. They could have had Luke show up and save the day. They could have had Han. Mm-hmm. Han could have been completely fine. Or they could have made Han another general. Like they, there's so many different ways that they could have reunited the original cast, and they all shared the screen together. But instead, they all, none of them saw each other. Uh, Leia Except saw Luke both Leia of them for like, for like a scene two seconds, each, yeah. and then they all just die, off mm-hmm. screen from each other. So there was no reunion, and they all didn't really get their time to shine. And they've all been so spaced out that it doesn't feel like they're they're moving yeah. forward like they should have just had the original cast been the the main roles like the focus is on them but then have these other characters like ray and I, I, they could they didn't even need finn they could have just well, got rid of they finn. should do it i mean like well i'll let you finish the thought before i go on a tangent there oh i was just saying like these characters could have just been helping out the original cast throughout these final movies like, mm-hmm. you could have had Luke passing down the torch to Rey. But there's so many characters, like uh, Finn and Rose and Poe and Rey and, I mean, and Kylo, and they're bouncing back and forth between everybody. So they don't get that much screen time between all of them. And it is, there's so much going on, it doesn't feel like they're main characters. Well, it feels like all the character no development was put in the characters that already have character development like i didn't need luke to have this big character swing i need ray to have that big character swing because she doesn't have anything she's just ray she's just super powerful finn needs a character swing he's just there like his whole thing of jumping from the empire really should have been a deeper not the empire the first order should have been a much deeper more interesting path but then he just became a goofy character which doesn't really make sense he he should be kind of a dark past kind of character because geez he's he's been enslaved by the first order his whole life so like they didn't put any real depth to the new characters and then they they keep going back to these old characters which should they should be playing these side roles they should be they should be 
you know, definitive within their role. And the focus should be on Ray. It should be on Finn. It should be on Poe and Kylo and everybody. And it's kind of the whole passing the torch thing. I don't feel like they've done that effectively in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I don't feel like the torch was really passed the way it should feel. I, I feel like there was more um, put on these older characters, which just should not happen. Because if you want this sequels to be different then it it really should be focused more on ray and finn and everything that they're doing and the and the character swings and the character arcs that they're having but they don't have much to do with character arcs i don't even know what ray's motivation is she's just kind of there i mean after i thought in the force awakens kind of knew what her motivation was going to be but then i have no idea because she doesn't seem to have any motivation she's just there wanted to kind of wanted to do something with life yeah it was kind of the same thing as Luke. yeah he wanted to like move on with his life and do something interesting that's what it looked like with ray but then uh i don't know what she's going for now how does ray um, even know how bad the first order is if she's just been stranded on that island her entire or not island on that planet of Jakku her entire life <laughs> like how, she's never even left the planet before mm-hmm. so how does she like Know that they're the bad people. Yeah. And I'm not sure what Finn's character arc is either. Is he just trying to get with Rey? (laughs) Is that his only purpose? I mean, I guess that's something. But he didn't do anything towards that in The Last Jedi. So I don't know what his purpose is. Yeah, like, are they going to just carry that romance, skip a movie, and come back to it? (laughs) Basically, because they didn't do anything in that romance in that movie. Like, the very beginning of The Last Jedi, there were a couple moments... I was missed. like, oh, yeah, th- yeah, there were. It's like they have to redo all these plots that they kind of tried to get started in The Force Awakens that The Last Jedi just decided to completely It's ignore. almost like they need a tenth movie just to make up where The Last Jedi ignored <laughs> a lot of plot points. Like yeah. The Knights of Ren I still have not been seen or mentioned at all. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's so much stuff that was left out. So I don't know where Lando... Was he just going to show up out of nowhere? Hey, sorry, I didn't see your stress uh, beacon on crate. I was busy. Sorry, I haven't been general the past few years. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm here to been real lead rough. the rest of the resistance now. Yeah, why is it when the whole resistance is dead, there's only like ten people left, he decides, oh, now's the time to, to lead again, or now's my time to come back. Like, uh, I, I don't know. know. It doesn't sound particularly great. I mean, it'll be nice to see an old good character again because I like, obviously, I like those characters. There's only one left. <laughs> he is. Oh, God. Yeah, I like to see that reaction. They're like, hey, Lando, you know, everybody else is dead. You'd be like, oh, <laughs> wow. What happened to Luke? Who directed uh, he... that movie? You're <laughs> like, jeez. Maybe oh, Lando man. wakes up. Uh... Finn maybe this is dream. all. Maybe this was all Lando's I mean, dream. So all maybe. this, the last Jedi like, was just Lando's bad out dream. Starts Lando waking up. <laughs> like, hello, what the hell was that? <laughs> maybe that's how this will start off, and then the credits come yeah, in. And we can all but, breathe the sigh I mean, I'm not. Relief. I'm not excited for episode nine, and seeing that he's coming back doesn't really make me any more excited because I think they're just going to screw it up. And Lando isn't the kind of character where I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I want to come back to see Lando. I mean, he's just yeah. Lando. I don't feel like Episode Nine that could possibly big. be good enough to delete what happened in The Last Jedi. Like, I like J.J. Abrams. I think he's a very, very good director. So I think he can make a good movie. But I don't see how There's he can There's a lot make... of people that still like The Last Jedi. Surprisingly. Oh, that's, that's another <laughs> argument, but... I mean, like, I, I don't see how he could, like, make such a good movie that The Last Jedi would be like, oh, didn't even matter how bad The Last Jedi was. This movie was so good, I don't even care about it. I don't know how he could do that. Yeah, that that's, well, I really don't Lando. know how. And Lando's the first puzzle piece. <laughs> and this is how they're going to start. But, uh, let yeah. us know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments below. Is Lando going to make a difference is he gonna i mean what do you think his role is going to be in this movie uh are you excited to see him are you excited for episode nine let us know and 
Give this video a thumbs up. Check out another video, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye How convenient to have you all together. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. The First Order will conquer you all. Soon we will reclaim the galaxy.